You're a man. Aren't you supposed to be able to know how to do this? <laughs> you might want to reconsider what you're doing. What's up, guys? Day six. <laughs> we found out. We aren't the guy for everything. Learn to say no, people. Learn to say no, because when you do, your yeses become a problem. <laughs> like you're a try. I'm out of it. That's all right. Keep that. Um, yeah, no, seriously, this it's one of those, um, we used to say yes to everything, right? So when you're trying, and, I, and I've been trying to educate other guys. Um, we're hustling, man. We're, we you do what you gotta do, but when you literally it's your manhood and so <laughs> somebody who says you're a man aren't you supposed to be able to know how to do this <laughs> you <laughs> might want to reconsider what you're doing <laughs> this happened twice in these ones twice so, so third time's a charm so let's jump right in so this photo here is a end of the day self toward beer photo because this day we didn't take apart a play set but we moved a play set from our insurance agent's house. Manhandled a massive, I wasn't there by the way. I was on the project of getting insulted. Yeah, no, no, we had to round up all the homies because we had I, three jobs. I know, but I wasn't at this job. Yeah, we called in all of our buddies. <laughs> all the troops. We're like, hey guys. It was the last day of college. Was it? The day, the, the day, first day out of like breaking college. Yeah. yeah, and everybody was like, they were cool about it too. I mean, I still got paid, but. I just remember getting a phone call, getting that picture. We're gonna have to find it. No one has that picture out there of us going down the street with the entire set of a play set in the bed of a truck, like here tottered like this. We take it there and it's, we're taking it there. And then when we get there, it doesn't fit through the gate. Yeah, now the play set has to go over, over the a six foot gate. gate. Dude. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't on that, but right? they got Beck was there, dude. Yeah, he, <laughs> our big biking friend, Mr. Brandon Beck, manhandled that thing. If it wasn't for you, I think he had some freaking solid oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. marks in his shoulder just by popping that thing up. Oh yeah. So we had the play set. That was the first job in the morning. I was on that crew. Then had two jobs. They were neighbors. It was back to Megan and Ryo. We we're, we're doing some things at their house, and then their neighbor, I forget her name. The one that doesn't like us personally because much. you're our manhood but we had two jobs going on then uh, and yeah go into detail about how you we were replacing good. so it was painting and we we're replacing we we're replacing some rotten wood some yep. wood trim yep. and cedar cedar trim yeah and i and i remember <laughs> well, we, i didn't know this at the time but we just flat out put the board on backwards <laughs> i think we pretty much had it painted no, 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 it was done. Yeah, we're like, caulked it. We're like, good to go. Thank you so much. And you just, I, did she text or did she call? I can't remember. I think it was a photo sent. It was devastating. And Sam's like, dude, you guys put the board on backwards. I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? The board's the same, man. The board's the board, okay? Don't tell me about front or back guy, okay? Yeah. And uh, that's when she started digging in deep. Uh, I don't know if we were resistant to that or what. No, we knew we messed up. She was that. like, you guys are be men and you're supposed to be able to do this. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah, we, we, we dropped the ball. We dropped the ball, so we went back. We made it right. You know, and I will say that. Any job, and to this day, we have a relentless uh, motivation to fix any wrongdoing, anything that we mess up. We we will say, hey, we messed up, and try to do everything in our power to make that. I have no problem with saying that. We go to extreme lengths to yeah. make sure these people are. Happy. Uh, yeah, needless to say, cedar uh, cedar trim. There is one right side, and there's one wrong side. The the side that has the grooves. The side that should be shown. We just thought that was the ugly side, so that's why we put it on the flat side. <laughs> not the case. Not the case. So oh now that we learned that, that probably was the thought process. That right? was exactly the thought this process. Is, this looks rough. Right? Common sense told us that hey, this isn't right. It's like smooth and good, baby. You know what I'm saying? So let, let's let's go back to our next adventure on the interweb. We just closed the biggest. This is now actually the most. 
biggest contract, dollar signs. Well, dollar close. signs. So we're back to the biggest contract. <laughs> but this one. This was a fun one. This the, is the biggest yeah. to get paid on. What did we do? We did drywall repair. We had Blackburn do the ceiling. Ceiling repair drywall is a nightmare. We're doing We had siding replacement on her detached garage. We had a house washing. We had a deck cleaning and staining mm -hmm. for one of the houses. We were painting one of our other rental properties in the same neighborhood. This is in Ransom Place, my old neighborhood. Right. And then we were doing something else. I forget what it's else. Just multiple services. There was a lot of things. It was like six, seven grand yeah. of work. And that's why it was the biggest deal, you know? <laughs> that's a lot of work for seven grand. That's a lot of cheddar, Bob. It's <laughs> a lot of cheddar. That's a lot of cheddar. I don't know. And, and, and we painted the interior stairwell of our house, too. Interior yeah. painting. I honestly, I, I must have blacked this out because... This was a nightmare. You could tell me all the things that gone wrong and I probably just put it away out of my mind. I can tell you exactly what wrong. The interior painting, we left lines on the walls. You can see from angles, you see that we had excess paint. The the ceiling, when we did the ceiling, the, the staining came right back because we didn't use the, uh, whatever the, the paint you had to put on the hey, ceiling. 24 hours of care. Yeah, we didn't do that. Uh, we We... Uh, also, we stripped the deck, and then when we painted the deck, we replaced the board on backwards again. That's how backwards <laughs> <is going>. Damn it! <laughs> placed the board on backwards. Uh, so we're, the, not the siding, we're not carpenters. The, the siding, the siding we put on wrong. Uh, in a windstorm coming through, that thing would have been gone. Um, I mean, there wasn't one thing that went right. I think at the, by the time that it was all done, that seven thousand dollars went down to like five to three thousand dollars. Easily, we're like, hey, don't worry about that. <laughs> we'll just knock a little bit off, and then when you're like six six items deep, <laughs> you're like, I don't even think you owe me a check at this point. <laughs> no, she paid a deposit too. She paid a deposit. We needed a deposit. That's probably all she paid. <laughs> it might have been, honestly. <laughs> I don't oh, really remember. Man. But I know how I met her, though, was at the city council, like a meeting. They oh, had. great. Now yeah. she's going to get into our free no, taxes. She was, no, no, it was like a petition for an apartment community in the neighborhood that's now built. But I was like, my neighbor, Paula, convinced me to be against it. Well, one lesson I learned at that point, you don't fight prosperity. It comes to, you know, stay in, stay in your line. Lane, certain yeah. things, like, yeah. I had to go up and present myself in front of the whole board. It was like, 200 people in the, the crowd. You, you thought you were Sammy the Savior. That's, yeah. that's what you thought you were. And I met her through that, and that's how we got the job. And it all just... It all you chose the wrong team. <laughs> yeah. Chose the wrong team, guys. <laughs> that's hilarious. So, I guess, looking at these two photos here, the lessons we learned were stay in our lane. Stay in your freaking lane. Stop going. I'll tell guys, I told you like earlier. We see this all the time. We see this all the time. Yeah, because guys will come to me who aren't pressure washers. They'll, they'll try to do this and they're taking on that. I'm like, dude, if there's any advice that I will give you right now, I can tell you all these stories. But the short version is you will lose money. Yep. You are not going to make money. You're going to screw things up. You're going to piss people off. And that's going to create a bad reputation. Or you, you take your focus away from what's actually making you the money. Yeah, and that's why I tell the them too. I'm like, what are you doing in your business to make it better? And these are things that I never thought of being the blue collar side of thing, you know, the marketing side, uh, SEO side, I mean, anything, website design. I mean, I don't, guys in our industry, we're one track. Where's the work coming from and, and how are we getting paid? The truth is, man, you gotta be well-rounded. You gotta, you gotta work on your own business because the moment you step outside that comfort zone is the moment mistakes happen. And God forbid, you don't have insurance or something, you turn a freaking building now, which you can do. Don't think that you can't. But here's the challenge. Is I'll, I'll pay the devil's advocate on the other side of the brain. You know, the, the mentality is make yourself uncomfortable because that's what pushes you to do more. In your lane. Right, but that's where the challenge. That's where, that's where the in, challenge. In that's where the challenge service. comes, though. That's where the people's predicament comes, or the other predicament is: I need to pay these bills, so I need to go sell this job that I can sell right here. Where in truth, hold that you're actually losing money on them. You're not focused on the things that are making the money, and that's the hardest lesson learned in business. We've we've been able to do that. We're constantly changing. And there's many services we use, even washing stuff. We just no longer do. We have a conversation this morning about. 
things that we're willing to do and things that we're not willing to do. If you're trying to scale and you're trying to grow, uh, you have to be able to replicate your services. You gotta make sure that any guy coming off the street can be trained quickly yep. and can provide that service at a good quality. Same quality that Ben and I would be able to do it ourselves. That's right. So when staying in our lane, it, it's absolutely critical. We live by it. I tell clients all the time, no. I'm fortunate, I don't like doing it, but I also understand that if I do say yes, I got headaches. And I don't, I don't like headaches. You might hate me more after. <laughs> That's part of my headache. <laughs> so, needless to say, stay in your lane. Do what's making you money. Watch tomorrow now. Watch tomorrow. We got we got some fun photos coming in about some downtown projects like Marquee. The world. Marquee photos. We're gonna put some context on some things of how it happened and what actually what it was. Right. Monument Circle. Wait for that one. That's a great one. See you tomorrow. <laughs>